Hello and welcome to the NFSTC Forensic Update, end of 2014. Once again, NFSTC is proud to bring you the latest news from the world of forensic science. So let's kick off the new year with DNA. For the last few decades, DNA analysis has become so commonplace that it's routinely used in criminal cases such as murder, rape, and numerous other major crimes. As the science has advanced, the DNA analysis has made the leap to the misdemeanor arena. Although budget and time constraints often limit lab involvement in misdemeanor cases, it has helped police connect crimes such as DUIs to repeat offenders in certain situations. As the cost and time required for DNA analysis is reduced by new technology, it will factor into more misdemeanor cases in the future. A backyard invention in New Zealand, called the STR mix, is making it possible for the first time to unravel sample strands of DNA from more than one person. The new software, which has already been sold to the U.S. Army and may be acquired soon by the FBI, can separate up to four strands. It's currently in use by Australia, the United States, and New Zealand, and has helped solve crimes ranging from a false claim of Grand Theft Auto to volume crimes such as burglaries and thefts, all the way up to arson and multiple homicides. Familial DNA searching has netted its first conviction in a 2001 rape case, a crime that went unsolved until last year. As a last resort to connect a suspect to the crime, a familial DNA search was conducted by the Virginia Department of Forensic Science. The results suggested the assailant was the male relative of a man whose DNA profile was already in the state's offender database. The familial search in the case was not presented as evidence to the jury, but was instead used as a tip that led the Williamsburg police to the suspect after he had evaded law enforcement for more than 12 years. If you would like more information on how DNA has been essential to solving several cold cases, click on the links in the video description below. Interested in learning more about DNA analysis? NFSTC has resources available online 24-7. First, NFSTC hosts an online interactive DNA analyst training program developed in cooperation with the National Institute of Justice. The information is delivered in nine modules and is available free online at www.nfstc.org pdi. For professionals, there's an assessment component that requires a small fee and can be arranged by contacting NFSTC at info at nfstc.org. To go deeper into the policy side of DNA, visit Forensic DNA Education for Law Enforcement Decision Makers, a free online forensic science training tool for policy and practice decision makers that examines the issues regarding the use of DNA analysis. Targeted to senior level law enforcement, this tool aims to provide users with the knowledge to streamline investigative processes, implement best practices for handling cold hits, identify and prioritize evidence of probative value, effectively leverage limited resources, and improve communications between law enforcement and crime laboratories. This resource is available in the link in the video description below. Last but not least, NFSTC offers professional DNA audit services for public and private laboratories. If it's time to budget for or schedule your FBI-required external DNA audit, contact us for a quote. Well, that's it for this episode of the NFSTC Forensic Update. If you'd like to learn more about the projects and programs that NFSTC has to offer, please log on to www.nfstc.org. For NFSTC, I'm Bill Duffin.